where Britishers used to play golf here. Good morning, everyone. And today it's day three of my Sandakpur ride. Right now I'm in Gangtok. Last night I had a very good sleep, and now I'm almost ready. I got fresh up, and I'll have a breakfast, and then I'll leave from here. Uh, today the journey it won't be that long because uh, I'm just uh, traveling from Gangtok to Mirik. There are two ways which you can go via Silguri and the other route is from uh, Darjeeling side. Don't go till Darjeeling. There is a place called Ghoom. From there you will take a turning from there which leads to Mirik. And it's uh, around 126 kilometers from here. Probably for us. Four to five hours, I am assuming. Let's see. Once I get ready, I'll start rolling again and see you on my wheels. So, guys, I've started today. Now it's around uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. So, from here, there are two routes uh, towards Mirik. One is via Silguri, and the other one is via Ghoom. Uh, which is very near to Darjeeling. So I've been to Mirik via Silguri a couple of times. So I have never tried this Goom route. Thought of reaching Mirik via Goom. And before that, I will have to refuel my bike. Google Maps it's showing around five hours to reach Mirik from Goom Road. Let's see. And by the way. It will take much more time than what Google is showing because uh, there are many locations. I mean, there are many wonderful locations on the way. So obviously, I will stop wherever I get uh, beautiful location. I started a bit late because the uh, distance I'm going to cover today is not that much long. So I had a very relaxed time in the hotel see in and one thing i observed in sikkim like in gangtok especially see how organized they are nobody is overtaking another car Full. Full. full or is maybe full gun now? I filled my jerry can as well. And here in Sikkim the fuel price is 102. There is some temple here Durga Mandir Now I am in Tissa market. Uh, this road connects to Darjeeling and uh, before Darjeeling we will get Goom where we are going to take the turn towards uh, Mirik. But by this road mostly people will travel to Darjeeling itself uh, and this place is lying just beside uh, Tissa river. And and you will get water sport activities it's like water river rafting and all and they do arrange uh, riverside camping as also and here in Tisa you will get enough homestays if you want to have a leisure weekend 
this is very old bridge wooden bridge made of by this bridge by heavy vehicles were not allowed Yes, once you climb up you will get to see lots of tea gardens here on both the sides of the road Today this road looks lovely. Look at the flowers on both sides of the road. I've reached uh, Goom. I mean, there's one more kilometer to go, and from here I have to take the diversion towards Mirik. <laughs> now I'm in Goom. You guys can see the track, right? That's for steam engine track. It's a, we will call this as a toy train, which is very popular in Darjeeling. I mean, the Ghoom is the main station where you will get to see lots of steam engines here. If we are lucky, we will get to see one on the track. Otherwise, we will have two. I don't know whether I can able to get the Ghoom railway station on my way or not. See, look at the climate it's freezing here even i have to change my hand gloves because okay, this is the goom railway station uh, unluckily there is no train on the track so from Goom, now I am on the way to Mirik, taking the diversion towards Mirik Road. And from here, it's only 35 kilometers, and it's showing one hour 30 minutes. Probably by 3:30, I'll be in Mirik. the fog is coming in between the trees It's all completely covered with fog and it's looking really amazing in mountains. <laughs> Mostly you will get this kind of atmospheres in mountains. Whenever you go to any hill station, you will get these clouds coming towards you. By taking this route, I felt like I did the right one. Because if I go via Silguri, it will be all traffic, 
pollution and everything so you won't get to see these kind of pine trees on both the sides and the fog near to you this place is called sukhia and the main road is passing through this village and all these areas comes under west bengal state i guess there is some durga mata temple here uh, everybody are selling some puja related at things from here i have to ride another 25 kilometers one thing is they all these villages they maintain their surroundings so clean i didn't see any dust or uh, waste materials just beside the road so guys we have another 10 kilometers to go look at the houses which are looking so tiny from here look at the tea garden in front of me it looks it looks so beautiful so i have almost reached the homestay and it's just 200 meters ahead of me ha mera booking hai ek aapka hi booking tha na ha ha अच्छा बाइक पार्किंग है पे ना पार्किंग पूरा सीसी कैमरा लगा हुआ है हाँ नहीं नहीं हाँ ठीक है नहीं ये पे रखना है कि नहीं वही पूछ रहा था गाड़ी तो नहीं जाएगा इस साइड हाँ हाँ कहाँ से आए आप अभी गैंगटॉक से आ रहा हूँ मैं गैंगटॉक से हम्म डायरेक्ट सीधा हाँ कितना टाइम लगा आपको ग्यारह बजे ऐसे निक हाँ विवेक विवेक ठीक कोई लड़का आया है क्या ये काली है बैग लन So guys, I parked my bike here and I have to go up. Kaha? Hat. Namaste. नहीं नहीं खाना है मुझे Guys, this is what I got for tonight. Now I'm at Mirik Lake. I hope you can see the lake behind me. This place is exactly uh, comes in between uh, Silguri and um, Darjeeling, and uh, something around 46 kilometers from Silguri. You can get easy tra transportation from. Silguri to Merik. 
and this lake this lake is connected by this arc bridge which is called rainbow bridge and main people often call this as a rainbow bridge and uh, this connects the two sides of the lake uh, on the right side you will get to see the pine trees everywhere on the other side you will get to see the gardens and the shops and there is one monastery here uh, which is called bokaro monastery uh, which exemplifies the buddhist uh, architecture here here you have couple of activities to do like the pony riding uh, boating and there is a spot where you can feed fishes as well and the, that's what you this lake is all about and it's a very big lake i'm just walking around this lake and now you can i'll also show, you can also get to see the monastery from here i hope you can able to see the monastery there it is exactly that that's the monastery so you can get to see the buddhist architecture and it is known that uh, the architecture was completely unique in this monastery and the name of this monastery is called bokar monastery see the on the right side there is a garden and in and here you will get all pine trees here so as i said earlier this both sides were connected by this bridge and this particular place is famous for this lake and the name of this lake is sumendu lake s u m e n d u and during uh, britishers time they used to spend their leisure time here and there is some golf court uh, nearby uh, where britishers used to play golf here <laughs> 